Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. In this one, what we can do is we're going to lock the views. Basically, how many people viewed a certain thread and view it right there. All right now, the thing is we're going to use a package for that. That has already been builded for us. Now, the package is quite handy. Uh, the package is by Soldervit. Now, what the package does is it gives us an option to log if it's being viewed by a bot and to keep the integrity of the views right there the other thing that, that i found very beneficial is to store a session of the current user if they view that thread actually a cookie in the session to determine like let's say if the person comes and view the page again that we just keep it unique so that the person just cannot keep on clicking on the thread to actually increase the count right there right just to kind of Keep the integrity of it right so we're going to make use of the package now there's a quite a lot of features available in the package as well now you can actually get your most popular post as well so if we go to let's say that's basically recording the views and the other one is basically if you can create a period uh, between okay now the thing is what is nice and handy about this is we can actually get the post order them by views if we want to see how many views a certain post have in your dashboard or you can get the post by unique views and all that kind of stuff it gives us quite a lot of options but i will leave a link in the description for this i'm not going to expand too much on this one i will just use a couple of things just to uh, basically do basic functionality i just want to lock the views and things like that i'm not going to do the dashboard part but i just wanted to show you the package as well so that we can basically complete this part right here okay so let's go to our code editor and install all right so in our code editor let me just make this a little bit bigger for you guys like this all right we're just going to open up our terminal all right and this case this needs to be all right now what we're going to do is we connect composer wire okay or instead of actually typing it out let's copy and paste it in in the package we're going to go to the installation right here you would see we've got the composer install or we can just click the copy it right there as you can see it copies it all right so let's go and install it all right and just paste it in here and then press enter Okay, now that's all done. What we need to do, I just want to publish the config. All right, but before we do that, actually, let's just uh, publish the migrations as well. So let's just copy this. And so let me put them in here. All right, so now that's done. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is the config file. All right, so. As you can see, then we're going to do PHP Artisan Micro, but we're going to do that in a second. I just want to publish the config file as well. Just copy that, paste it, and it's all done. All right, so the next thing that we want to do is we want to do the migrations as well. So let's do PHP Artisan Micro. Let me just get it so you guys can see. PHP Artisan Micro. And I'm just going to do a fresh migration with the seeding as well. All right, so if we go to our views right there, you will see under our migrations, you will see we've got a new table in there for views. And it's making use of a polymorphic relationship. As you can see, viewable right there in the visitor collection and viewed app. Right now, the reason why I'll publish, let me just make this. Right. Now, if we go to the config, you will see you will have a new file in there called eloquent viewable. All right. Now, the thing that I want you to do is because if you can see, this is basically our model. All right. So that's all fine. This is basically the cache. All right. So this is the cache configuration. All right. Now, if you want to change the key, you can adjust the key right here. Okay. Now, this is basically the cooldown. And the thing is, if you want to ignore the bots, this is set to true okay and we want to ignore the bots okay so 
we just keep that at true and basically this is the visit the cookie key you can change it to whatever you want it to be okay and this is the ignored ip addresses right so you can add them in here so that's quite handy right now let's go to the usability and the functionality of how do we use it right so if we go to our resources views let's just open our controller quickly app http controllers we're going to open our thread controller right here now the thing is we want to use in our thread controller we want to actually store basically the count from here right so if we see this show right here so if we click on that view right there okay so let's just go to the browser quick just to make sure that we're on the same page so if we click this right here that's actually the show controller that actually i actually refreshed so this part right here now if i click on that that thread controller the show method is actually responsible for doing this right there just to prove to you i'll let me just do this return um let's say just working let me just do a dine dump actually just a dine dump okay so if we click on that view it's supposed to show us this now right so if i click on there as you can see working right there okay so we know it's coming from the view right there okay so let's go back all right so how do we actually log the visits all right so let me just show you now the thing is the first thing that you do is we type in views okay so we use the views method right there then on top of that we do the record right and we just finish it close it off but now the thing is it's expecting it wants to know which model must it record now in this case we're expecting the thread right there so we pass in the thread variable like this but now there's a problem but i'm not showing it to you yet but this, this is the one way to record it okay so let's quickly view that page and see what it does to our database Right now, as you can see, I'm in the database right now. I've got my ID, viewable type, viewable ID, visitor collection, and viewed at. Nothing is happening in here right now. Okay. But now the thing is, what we need to do is we need to set up our threat model for, in order for this to work. Right. So let's open up our threat model. Right, so there's a couple of things that we need to do in here right so we need to in include basically the interface of viewable like it's so right and now as you can see we're gonna get an error because the threat model is not fulfilling the contract of our interface now in order to fulfill that we use interact with that let me actually just get it yeah, this part right here interacts with views right there. Let's just copy that, paste it, interacts with views. As you can see, the error disappear. Now, where do I get that? Let me just show you. Right, so basically preparing our model. So basically in the package, right, you would see this is the interface and this is the trade. Okay, interact with views and you basically just bring them all in right there. And you implement the viewable and you just use interactive views okay so this is i will leave a link in the description of the package if you want to go and read more about it okay and so in our show method we're going to record that view so let's go to the browser and see if it works okay what's supposed to happen now is if i click on the thread right here it will go to that show view and we need to log actually a page visit so let's click on that now, as you can see we're in there but now if we refresh this you will see we actually logged the page visit right now as you can see what it done is created a unique id and as you can see the viewable type was the threads the viewable id was 14 because the id of this thread is 14 okay and obviously the visitors got a nice little unique uh, key right there and as you can see viewed at what time it was actually viewed as you can see 
right there. Okay, so this is all very nice. But now the problem for me is, let's say I go out again. Let me just go to the bottom again. So if I click this again, all right, now you will see it logs another entry. All right, I don't want that to happen because now someone might abuse this. All right, so they keep on doing the same thing and we log a lot of uh, basically views in a database and it will grow very quickly. All right, now the thing is, in order to stop this from happening, we can add a unique key to it. Now, in order to fix that, what we do is we add another parameter here called cooldown. Okay, now the cooldown, we can just do an expiry, expire, add like this. All right, so obviously I haven't created that yet, so let's quickly create the variable. Now, expire. All right, that's going to equal to. Now we're going to use the eloquent now helper, uh, the carbon actually, and then we're going to add hours, not centuries, <laughs> add hours, and we're going to add, let's say the person can only do it every 12 hours or so, then basically the key expires. All right, so we can add a cooldown to that. All right, so let's go back and see if we can actually. Abuse it again. All right, so let's go back. So if I click this again, all right, so if we refresh, we'll see we got um, five views. Let me see, five views right there. So if we click it again, refresh, you will see we still at five. Why? Because the user has been locked right now. All right, so let's say we go to another one actually. Let's click on this one. Uh, as you can see, it logs that entry of number 13 right there, right? So let's try to do it again. So if we click on that again, you will see it just logs it once. Now that for me just keeps the integrity of the actual views just a little bit better, all right? All right, so now in order to display the count, so let's add, update that in our views. So we actually want to see how many, how many times it's actually paid, been viewed. So let's do that. All right, so now index view, what we're going to do, you go to uh, resources, views, pages, threads.index. All right, then you get to this part right here. Then you remember we got our Blade component for our thread. So if we go in there, you will see we got our comment count, we got our like count, and we got our view count right there. Now, in order to change this, we add our blade syntax. All right? And what we do is almost the same way we did the record, we're just going to do the count. So we just do views. Okay, we're calling that method, and we just add the count like this. Okay, and then we obviously have to pass between the argument right here we just add a variable for the thread like this okay so now the views we add the thread and then it just shows the count so let's see if it work so as you can see we got five views right there and this one has got one this one has got zero so let's click on it all right so this is still hard coded we're going to get to that in a second so if we go back you will see it's got one view right there Okay, so the other thing is, let's say we're trying to go in there again. Let's see if, we, if it changes. As you can see, it's still at one. Why? Because after 12 hours, it will ex basically expire and the user can basically view it again. All right, so let's update the view inside here as well to be also dynamic. Right, so now index view right there. Okay, so we go back to the thread. Just copy everything that you have in that view count. Just copy all of it. Okay, so let's just copy this part right here and go to our show view. In our show view, just in your likes right there, you will see we got our likes. All right, it's displayed as flex. Then you will have only this part right here. Let me just show you. You will only have the likes like this, okay? And 
Let me just actually bring it down just to be above that. And I will just say the view count. This, then, because you want to keep it in the same div, and let's just add it like that. Okay, that's all we're going to do. All right, so in your likes, just underneath that LifeWire component, just basically add the view count and just paste it in there. Uh, as you can see, it shows the view count right there. So let's go back and actually go to this one as well. As you can see, it shows the right view count right there. But there's another word of caution. If you don't have the space in your database, then don't record the views, all right? Because you need to have space. Because let's say you have a lot of viewers, you can imagine how big this table will get because of the views. Because for every view there's a log and entry okay so that's why i want to keep the views to a minimum by actually making sure that the user cannot view in quick succession the views and just lock an entry in the database okay because that way the database can grow actually very 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 large all right now the thing is there is Google Analytics, all right, that you can work with and actually actually log the views and things like that. But for me, this is quite handy if you, right, so if you want to basically view all your pages and things like that, okay? So just to kind of keep track on the views, better user experience. But if you've got the space in your database, then it's quite handy to do. All right, so that's it for me, guys. If you liked the video, please give it a like. If you don't, please give it a dislike. And positive, negative feedback, I always appreciate it. All right, I'll leave a link in the description for you guys. Adios.